Satchin knows this on word for word what I just said. I'm going to shoot you in the feet, then the knees, then the hands. Basically, anything you've got two of. Like your face. Oh, yeah, two faces. Whatever. One hour. This is impossible. I'm going to fucking die. What are we going to do? You can't do a top quality jingle in an hour. Let me tell you the story. Um, back in the day, I was emceeing a conference for Raynard Pharmaceuticals. That evening, some of the marketing guys were doing karaoke. I didn't join in. I tended to shun Japanese culture. This was the mid-90s. It was more acceptable. But high on a cocktail of champagne and cheap Foster's lager, I lunged at the microphone. A few minutes later, I was making grown men cry with my rendition of Summer of 69 by Brian Adams. Oh. Thing is, I twisted the lyrics to the Summer of 29, invoking memories of the Wall Street crash and German hyperinflation. Remember, many of these guys were in sales. Alan, where are you going with this? I think the point is, he didn't think he was any good at singing. It turns out he was quite good at singing. Yeah, that. And that if you really, really try, you can do anything. Yeah, I'm that. I don't care! I'm going to fucking die! Hey, hey, I'm trying to save your head, shoulders, knees and toes. Okay. Man up, Musos. Well, I used to play synth in a jazz funk band. Great. Who else? I used to be the drummer in Meridian. Meridian? Oh, no time for that, but wow and great. What are you going to do first? <sighs> I'm going to lay down a rhythm track. Okay. Lynn Benfield? I am sure. Do you know Mr. Alan Partridge? Okay. He wasn't feeling good. He just gets flustered at self-service checkouts and takes things when I'm scanning uh, Miss Benfield... He doesn't it... like being told to put things in bagging areas by automated women. No, Miss Benfield. We're here because Mr. Partridge is currently involved in an armed siege. Oh. But informing you is his next of kin. Oh, uh, 